Morning. Morning. Just popped in to see how you're feeling. Oh, thanks. So? Yeah, okay, fair enough. I have to be going. Oh, yeah, right. Well, thanks for staying. I really appreciate it. And hopefully you'll be back. Well, for goodness sake, what's to think about? I think we've still got a few things we need to sort out. Like, well, what we're going to do next for a start. I mean, this this is interim order is only a temporary thing, so that means we've not lost him yet. You don't think so? Oh, no way, no. Up until he disappeared with that welfare bloke, everything was going your way. Can. Yeah, I felt the same. And that Adam was more or less bribed to say he wanted to stay with Baldwin. <laughs> well, exactly, but I mean, I blame myself for that. It's me that should have applied for custody. You? Well, I don't see what difference that would have made. Well, no disrespect, Dad, but I'm younger and he knows me a lot better. Yeah, but you couldn't offer him a proper home, could you? have been through all that already. Did he? Oh, hello. I was just telling Edna here about Ken losing the case and the lad ending up Baldwin's. And I was about to say it could be a lot worse. I beg your pardon? Well, let's look on the bright side. I mean, let's be honest. He'll have a dad with loads of money, a stepmother who's young and attractive, he'll have a sports car to ride round in, a golf club to join, a nice business to inherit. I mean, Ken's very nice. What flaming hell do you know about it? Eh? Nout! Exactly. So why don't you mind your own business? Right. We can't go on like this. We can't go on like...